Hello everyone, Prayer Scooter here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Link's Awakening. It is time to wake up the Windfish and accept our destiny. Are you ready? And with that, the egg explodes. The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot. Hoot. Oh, I get two hoots now. Well, I'll give you two hoots about something. Come down here. I'm going to smack you so hard you're going to lose color. There we go. Anyway, welcome to the windfish's egg. Give you, I'll, I'll give you a dollar if you can bridge that gap. Anyway, so, remember that code I talked about, like, f six episodes ago or something like that? Basically, once we got the magnifying glass? I hope you have that code handy, because you need it here. Yep, that's, that's, why, <laughs> that's why I told you the magnifying the trade quest was a required thing. Because without this, you're going to be going through this, you're going to be going through this particular dungeon with no clue as to what you're doing, and it's a total, and it's a semi-random pattern as well, so you can't just... You can't just wing it, either. And, well, I say, well, I should probably explain why you need the magnifying glass. You can't read the book that, ga that gives you the code to go through here without the magnifying glass. Anyway, let's stop talking and walk through. So, left. Up. Right. Up. This is basically just alternating, so I'm just going to go left, up, right, up until I find the place. And as soon as I do, I'm going to put away this post note that has my directions on it. Good, good sounding music in here, huh? Oh, and there it is. So, I hope you have your wits about you, for we are facing down the final, sh the final nightmare. Wee! Hey, dude. We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up. This island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble! Let's get ready to rumble? Now I have to remember which boss is which. Because I haven't fought this guy in a while. Let's see, which one are you going to give me? Ah, the gelatin boss. Oh, right, I need my sword. I need my I know, or no, I need my sword. I need my powder. Because I need to powder him to kill him. I need to powder... He Basically, this is a several phase boss fight, so I hope you have your gear ready to go. Boop! Powdered. Powder. And what are you going to do now? Ah, Aghanim! I guess we can get our shield out for this part because it'll help. But yeah, you're basically going to do Dead Man's Volley. You're going to be doing Dead Man's Volley. Now, I'm trying to remember. Can I... I wonder if... I don't know if that does more damage, but you can spin attack it back at him. I I would, I want to wager that it does more damage. And I can, I can totally botch too. And just like Aghanim, he'll randomly change up... He'll randomly change up his shots too, so it might be a spike shot too, like this. I guess it doesn't block it. Okay, it's a waste of time. Shield, waste of time. Even though it's level 2 shield. It may also be in your best interest to have the uh, potion from Crazy Tracy or the magic potion. So that way you can recover if you get hit, uh, hit and killed. Ah, there goes that. Now I'm going to grab my feather for this part. 
because this part... Oh, hey, Moldar. <laughs> Not only do you fight Moldar once, you fight him twice. Also, notice how we have to, we've been fighting some various things. Aghanim. Moldorm. Hmm. And the bosses are called Nightmares. That's cool. Oh, can I only hurt him with, uh... With my... With, uh... Charged Master Sword? I must be able... Oh, that must be the only time I can actually deal damage to him. He's not like the real Ganon. It is Ganon, I should say. But he's not like the real Ganon where he... He's not like the real Ganon where he requires the use of... How do I hit this guy? I forget. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I have to... I don't think that Boomerang is required here, so we should be able to just... Yep, arrow. Now, this part. I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to make a quick save state. You don't, you won't be able to see any of this, so don't worry about it. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the real way to fight the boss. Let's see, get this on my B, get this on my A. The final boss has its own unique pattern, so don't worry. Basically, we're waiting for a nice, big, beautiful eye to show up. Once the eye, once the eye starts showing up, we can shoot arrows into it. Ow. I should have actually been wearing the defense armor for this. I don't know what I was thinking. Come on, you. Open up. Hi, I'm right here. Open up, please. Wow, okay. The boss is not opening up his eye. That's actually... Uh, there he goes. Once I shoot an arrow at him, he opens up his eye. Anyway, I think it's going to take about 12 arrows. If I remember right, it takes about 12 arrows to his eye in order to kill him. Well, I should say kill it. But after you get those arrows in, it's, it's curtains for him. Come on, open up your eye. I will risk the damage to get a shot in. And his eye opens almost at a random time. Almost, like, almost random time. Yeah, three shots. If you're good, you can do it. Now, as you deal damage, his uh, blades there will actually get faster. Damn. He is really opening up his eye for me now, finally. Oh. Got it. Now, before I continue on with the text here, let's actually go to kind of a spoof thing. So the arrows are the way you're supposed to defeat this guy. But, if you're like me, and have cheated a little bit, well, not cheated, if you're like me, and have gotten yourself, and have gotten yourself the boomerang, this becomes almost trivial. I'll show you why in a second. Open up that big eye for me, buddy. Let me see them beautiful peepers. Let me see it. I was, I'm hoping a lot of you are actually anticipating me showing you this. <laughs> Come here. Hither. Come hither. Open that eyeball. Come on. Don't have all day. Come up this way so you don't hit me. Boop. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on, really? Oh, it's not working. Did that get patched? Well, that being said, I guess I've gotten cocky. I was going to swore you could have thrown the boomerang at this guy to one-shot him. I don't know. So, yeah, I guess I've gotten cocky and I didn't need to. Oh, well. Boss, we get to do the boss fight a second time at this point. Come on out. Come now. Ah, uh, come here. Come here and show me your eye once again, fool. I'm gonna die again. Really? Well, I'm gonna... Oh, I actually lived. I was about to show you this, how the potion worked. Whatever. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world.
Link, you've beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Now, actually, something that is that you can actually do, if you really want to, at this point, you can actually warp out of this room. You can warp out of here, go back to the very start of the game if you really want to. And I'm going to plug it once again. If you want to see it happen, go watch the race that me, uh, Lucky70X, Tamal9, and Slim Kirby all had together of this game, and you'll see that happen. But, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the game here. Ooh, pretty place. Actually kind of reminds me of Dreamland. Like, a lot of this last area reminds me of Dreamland. I don't know why. Uh, Kirby, for those of you who don't understand. Hello, Mr. Owl. Hoot, young lad. I mean, Link. The hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work is done. The Windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Hoot. Goodbye, all. It wasn't very annoying in this game, actually. Here's a bacon. I am the Windfish. Long has my slumber in my dreams an egg appeared, and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dust awaken, coherence will be gone. The only memory of this dream land will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory must be the real dream. Come, Link, let us awaken together. And awaken we shall. So how are you going to do this? Am I just going to get slapped across the face with a wet fish? Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Verily. So I'm just going to get slapped upside the face like a, with like a wet rag or something, or get ice dumped to me, you know, something to kind of snap me out of it. Oh. Oh. Um. Everything's disappearing. That's bad, right? Oh. So, again, how is this supposed to work again? Uh, HMO8, or is it 07? Pokemon reference at the end of a, at the end of a Link, uh, Zelda Let's Play. I do good. So what's going? Oh, wait, we were in a boat. Well, crap. Oh my goodness. Now, you gotta admit, for the fact that this was an 8-bit system, this looks impressive. Just remember that. It was an 8-bit system. Well, um... Who turned off the sun? Thanks, audio. Windfish! You're a real thing! And now I'm blind. Thank you, son. Yeah, I did it. And that's the and that's the only thing that will confirm that Link was actually had this dream in the first place. That he saved the windfish is the windfish itself. That's it. <sighs> Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Like I said, towards Stars Project, I never had this game growing up. 
And I apologize for the flickering letters on screen. There's nothing much I can do about that. It's YouTube's processing frame rate. I played this game growing up, and I adored this game. Basically, growing up, I either played Link to the Past every day after school, or I played this game on a road trip. I adore this game. I love this game growing up. I still enjoy it into my into my 20s. Keep, keep in mind, this came out in 98. I, so I would have been about 10 or 11 when this game did come out. So keep in mind, this game has been this game has been in cycle for. Let's see, it came out in '98. It's been out for 16 years or so, I think. If I'm thinking, if I'm mathing right. And then the staff from the 1993 version. So no, the 1993 version is the one I had. So I was, yeah, I was six or so when I got this game originally. Which means, wow. Which means this game is about 20 years old. It, no, it, it's over 20 years old now. <laughs> oh my god. I love this game. I've always loved this game. I never loved the, the sequels to this game. I said sequels plural. Yes, you heard that right. I never played the sequels to this game, to be honest with you. It just... I don't know why. Now when I look back at the sequels today, I'm just like, Oh my god, my head would hurt from trying to play through all that. But... Again, I love this game. It is a fantastic game. If you have a 3DS, or maybe soon it'll be coming to Virtual Console, I don't know. But if it is coming to Virtual Console on the Wii U, I would definitely recommend you get this game. It is a fantastic Zelda game that will not take all of your... that will not take up all of your time for three weeks. The end. That was kind of abrupt. But yes, this is a fantastic game, and I would recommend it to anybody. I would recommend it to anybody that wants to get into Zelda, and they don't want to spend too much time on the game itself. Also to note here, I did not get the secret ending. Or the good ending, so to say. I did die once, right at the very beginning of the game. Had I not died once, what would have appeared here is Marin's head would have appeared on screen, and it would have faded into the image of a seagull and the seagull would have flown off. Basically fulfilling Marin's wish of being able to turn into a seagull and, f and fly the seven seas to sing to everybody. So there is a good ending to all this after all. Well, for the one person. The, the other 20 people on Koholin are now dead. Sorry. Anyway, everyone, I do thank you for watching this side Let's Play project. It's been a blast for me. And I've really enjoyed playing it, and I hope you'll enjoy watching it when it does come out. That tells you how much time I've spent on this over the last two days. <laughs> but, everyone, again, thank you so much for watching. And, I hope that you'll join me next time for another Let's Play project.